set of two great pillows from Northern Nights. We'll revisit those in the next 15 minutes or so. Some of you were saying, what is that blanket or what is on top of that bed? What are the colors? I have to have it. Well, it's from London Fog and it's called a baby velvet quilt. This comes to you in twin through king sizes. We have five colors. The color that you see on the bed there, that is what we're calling our Persian blue. I love this color. It's so pretty and fresh. And then in front here, real quickly, we have it for you in this beautiful sandstone. Right. We have it for you in ivory. In the center there is the rich gray. So that's like a charcoal gray. That's my son's color on his bed. Then you have powder blue. And then down there at the end, you have mulberry. Just so you know, this is all machine washable and tumble dry, but kind of cool, Marty, to see that um, London Fog brand and then also see this idea of a quilt with velvet. Yeah, I love that this is like a marriage of all kinds of things. And can I just talk about London Fog? Yeah, please minute, do. Please? You know, what I love about London Fog bringing this to us in bedding is, you know how, I don't know about you, but when I graduated from college, one of the very first things I bought was a London Fog coat to mm -hmm. wear because it looked great no matter what I had on underneath. I looked great walking down the street and I knew that I was cozy and warm. So bringing those ideas into bedding this looks great on your bed and you're going to feel cozy and warm yes so it's really a wonderful transition into our bedrooms especially with the velvet this time of year and this velvet i have to say it's not heavy um, it's very almost like silky it's very plush you know, I love the hand of it. Some, I mean, velvets are all gorgeous, but some are a little bit stiffer than it others. Can be. This is not at all. No, it's it's really puppy soft, and it has a wonderful drape to it. And I love how we brought modern materials into a, a classic heritage thing like a quilt. Yeah. And look, we did this beautiful stitch design. So you know, like a quilt, it's two layers of fabric with a batting in between. It's got this wonderful kind of pinwheels quilt design, and. It really is like the old meets new, mm -hmm. and it's a way that you can, very livable, you know, you can take this off the bed and drag it into the living room for movie night with the kids if you want, but it goes in the machine wash and dry. It's really simple. My 20-year-old son, almost 20-year-old son, has taken this off to college, and he washes it, so you know it's easy to take care of if it's living at college with a boy. Well, first of all, um, hats off to Marty as a mom whose son is doing his laundry, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the important part there. Um, but I think this is one of those items where, you know, if this is what all you use as top of bed, instead of having blankets and those kinds of things, it's a nice extra layer. Yes, it and is. And if you're somebody who wants to use this on top of other layers that you've put inside your bed, it's gonna work great there too. I think even if you were to buy this, because it's I think it's at a pretty affordable price point. If you just want to sort of do something to make your bedroom or guest room seem rich for the season, yes. you know, there's something the same way we love to shop for a new velvet skirt or a velvet top for the holiday season. There's something about this fabric that is luxury and that we love this time of year. So I love this for a, an easy bedroom makeover yes. from say like October through April and use this as that texture and color um, to make over that room at a great price. It really is. And you know, your bed, your bed is really the biggest piece of furniture in the bedroom. And yes. so if you buy a wonderful piece like this and throw it over your bed, you've instantly changed the way that room looks. Even if like you say, you layer in a quilt, um, a comforter, a down blanket, whatever. This is a layering piece or it can be used by itself. This Persian blue that we're showing you definitely has some nuances of sort of um, turquoise or teal in it, wouldn't you say, yes, Marty? Yes, it's really kind of like that sea glass that we've seen in sheeting for so long. It's like a deeper, richer version of that. And then let's look again up at our other colors here. Yeah, because we've got such a nice palette. You know? Yes. And we should talk about the sizing too. This sizing is really generous, really pretty. And really, you know, you're not gonna have a, a fight with your sleeping partner. You might be able to see the pattern of the quilts. It's almost like a pinwheel pattern, a little bit easier on this light color just so that you can see. There you can see it. Yeah, and I um, love that sandstone because it's a great neutral. If you want to buy a twin size for someone as an oversized throw, mm -hmm. that's a great choice. This is like the color of a golden retriever. Just saying. That's a great And it feels nice and soft and like a puppy would be anyway. Right. And then here is your beautiful ivory. Yeah, and I love that ivory because it's not too white, it's not too buttery, not too yellow. It's kind of a true pearly ivory color. Then we have that wonderful dark gray. 
We're yes. calling that rich gray, and it's very charcoal. It's very charcoal. You know, if you're decorating with grays, like lighter grays, and you want to have something really to anchor the room, this is a great choice, or that Persian blue. I think that that could also even play as a soft black. Oh, yes. If you yeah. needed it to, you know? Yes, Then sure. we have that powder blue. Yeah, and the powder blue, you know, if you like to decorate with pastels, but you want to bring some texture into the room for the mm -hmm. winter, this is a great way to go. And then we have that pretty mulberry. That's a gorgeous color again. If you like the mauves, if you have, you know, Victorian tones, cherry wood furniture, oh, I think yes. that would, hunter yes. greens with that color can be very pretty. That's very nice. I love the easy pay on this. I love that this is all machine washable and tumble dry. It's comfortable. It's soft. It's not overly heavy, but it has a really nice drape on the bed, Marty. It does. Do you mind picking up your side for a minute? I just want to show everyone how beautifully sized this is. I mean, it's it's really. I mean, got, it's really sized like a bedspread. It really and is. And most quilts are not sized that way. No, they can be a little short. This really has great drape on both sides. So if you like to really curl up in the cover and you mm -hmm. know you get accused of stealing the blanket, this is a wonderful choice. I would also say, um, and Jeanette's following us on Facebook. We're streaming the show live over on, at Jill Bauer QVC, and she said that quilt looks so comfy. We agree, Jeanette. Uh, but I think this is also one of those items where if one of these colors would complement your sofa in your family room, maybe you have a large sectional, I'd buy the twin oh, and use sure. it as a throw. And I think it would be an absolutely gorgeous way to add the luxury of this velvet to the everyday fabrics that you're living in on your pieces of furniture. I agree. And you know, if you haven't tried using a twin size quilt as a throw, you're going to love how it gives you that extra drape, especially if you're snuggling up with a, a child. It gives you enough to really fully share. Sometimes the throw is just a little too small. This is perfect. So again, the color on the bed, this beautiful, beautiful shade. This is uh, what we're calling the Persian blue. Cheryl is over on Facebook. She says, I'm thinking about getting it in the ivory. It would go great with my pink and ivory bedding. Beautiful. And that's a true ivory. It it's really not a buttercream. There's no yellow or anything to it. Um, this color that we have here, we're calling this one the sandstone, right. correct? That's the sandstone. So that's just a beautiful, neutral, kind of goldeny beige. Yes. Right? Then we have that wonderful, what we're calling the rich, rich gray. gray. Yeah, as soon as this came in my house, my son took off with it. I never saw it again. <laughs> There's your powder blue. Yes, powder blue. And then I love this mulberry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a wonderful mauve color. Again, machine wash and dry can't be easier. If my 19-year-old can do it at college, you can take care of it at home. And again, it's not gonna be overly heavy. No. Um, it really has a very nice weight to it. Um, and you should know that there is, this is a um, polyester quilt but it does have a 95 cotton fill to it. it Will it kind of pucker a little bit more after I've washed it you know, too? You know, ours didn't pucker at all. I suggest you keep the heat in the dryer low. Okay. But it dried really fast. It was, everything about taking care of this was simple and easy. Great. And it if looked great afterwards. If a 20-year-old college student can handle it, yes. so can you. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> Thank nice you, to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay on the line if you're dialing in for that. We're going to talk about some great sheets to go with that coming up in just a second. But, oh, you guys, <laughs> this item, customer top rated, another great item from Valerie oh, Parhill. Kathy's God. back with us. Uh, 